Hello, everybody, friends, family, and viewers alike. I am Schmidler, and welcome back to Schmidler Plays Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. Last time we made our way here to Sunshine Island to talk to Master Imhotep, and then we sent a basket with the canopic vase we found to the Castle of Uruk to give to the mummy and brought him to life. And with that, he went into the castle, and we found and got the first, oh my god, wrong menu, the first stolen jewel from, of the Abydos Museum, along with, a pair, with s several onyx scarabs, and the wing of, the wings of Ibis, which give us the ability to now double jump, and slam on the ground. The slam ability will come in handy soon. You'll see. But now we're going back the way we came. And also, there's the boat. With that, we can travel any... That's a uh, lionfish. They are poisonous and they are mean. I usually never get hit by them. Ow, that actually hurt me. Oh yeah, there's a house here with people. And there should be a guy here. Yes, there is. Swimming contest guy. I forget. There's a... You get something good out of this, and I forget what it is. Ahoy there! You look like someone who relishes a physical challenge, an important attribute in these dark and dangerous times. I am the best swimmer in Heliopolis. I'm definitely better than all those weaklings from Abydos. I've perfected my technique on a training course in the sea for, between... South Beach and Sunshine Island. Do you think you can complete my training course? Yes, you want to. I forget what you get out of this. You get something useful out of this. You'll see when I do it. But yes, I'm doing it. Very well. Would you like to hear the rules? Of course. The rules are simple. There are a series of checkpoints in the ocean which you must swim through. The checkpoints will only stay active for a limited time, so you must reach them before they deactivate. When you pass through a checkpoint, the next one will activate. If you do not reach a checkpoint before it deactivates, then you've failed. Wishing you luck seems pointless, but good luck anyway. Ready, set, go! You want- that's the checkpoint right there. You want to fast swim through this. Hold down the fast bu the button that is for fast swimming. He does have two other obstacle courses. I went by one in the first area. I think, yeah, the last next one behind me. And there we go. Activate that. Eh, eh, eh. We will do it. Now if those things don't screw me over again. The lionfish, please do not screw me over. I think there's only one more. Or nope, there are several more. This one. And the last checkpoint. This is pretty much impossible to fail to me. This one's like pretty much impossible. Ah, very impressive, my friend. Few people have what it takes to complete my training course. Because you managed to complete the course in only 67 seconds, I wanted you to take this gift. An Abydosian swiver gave it to me long ago. Of course, I never use it. I can swim fast enough without the aid of silly magical trinkets. You got the crocodile scales. Oh, yes, you need this for later. This ancient artifact allows you to swim underwater at great speeds. Press Y while underwater to swim with gusto. If you want to do the training course again and attempt to beat your time, then let me know. I probably could beat my time. I don't remember what my fastest time doing that is. I want to talk to this guy. Hi, nice to see you again. Where would you like to sail to today? Abydos Cursed Palace. Cursed Palace. First five scarabs. It's quick. And it's easier to get by the stupid statues. By the stupid Eye of Raw post this way. I'm not in the mood to do anything else. Yes. Now that we've done that, we can go into Anubis's tower. There's another training course over there, but I don't think we have all the items needed to do it yet. 
I'll do it later. And make sure I have everything to do it first. I'll show what the crocodile scales do later. You have to actually be swimming underwater in order to use it. But with this double jump in hand, we can now enter the enter Anubis's tower. Thank you for that. Scare it, please. Whoa. Uh, yes. This is a button. Switches like this can only be activated by performing a slam attack on them. Do a somersault then press B in midair to perform a slam. Can be used to damage enemies, and it also can be used for this. Damn it. Yeah, I make myself look stupid. There we go. Now we have access to tower. That just gave me a lot of scarabs. You want to remember these are here. These can contain a tune eyes and scarabs. Mostly scarabs. Some of them have a tune eyes though. You want to look out for those. That's another reason for getting onyx scarabs. Because the guy that uh, only pays an onyx scarabs gives you a tune eyes. And those speed boosts can help you traverse the the desert very quickly. So it's recommended that you get a, get that. Oh yeah, this. We're stuck in here. These are sm uh, almost a bull, they're called. If you don't stop them, if the more times you hit them, the smaller they get. If you don't heal them, if you don't... If they get small enough, like to that small point, they will go over this to regenerate themselves. They're easy to deal with if you know that much. Oh yes! I remember this. Much is clear again. I could have come in here last episode, but again I didn't feel like doing it. Because I forgot there was a save point in here. That and also I felt I was recording for too long. Only s okay, I haven't been recording for long. Probably after talking to Anubis, I'll just call it a day. Whoa. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh yeah, you want to bring them across here. One of these chests has the has the key to that thing. Okay, 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 okay. Come on. They should be able to come up here. Yep, there we go. Ooh. Ow. Scarabs, thank you. Yep, there's the glyph key. I'm going to open this last one because I'm right here. Thank you for hitting that crate. Ooh, a lot of scar- Damn it, I missed some. And there goes the... Oh, he didn't go off the cliff. He had an invisible wall. Put glyph key in faster. Put it in. And now we can go up. Bye. You want to remember them there for later. And like I said earlier, every time I see one of these, I will be saving. No matter what. Because saving... There's a point in this game where I'm going to be dying like crazy. A little later on. It's soon. Oh yeah, another sound minigame. You want to put this here and do this. Blue, yellow, red, blue, red. So, blue... Oh, it's blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red, blue, red, green. Blue, red. Damn it. I keep doing that. Why am I doing that? It's blue, yellow, red, blue, red, green. My brain. I am one, two, three. Damn. What did I do? Just for my sake. Blue, yellow, red. 
Now I can destroy that. Stop! And open this. I looked like an idiot for like two minutes straight. You got the blowpipe! The magical darts fired from this powerful tool regenerate, giving you an infinite supply. The darts can be used to hit ran to hit remote targets, but they are only powerful enough to damage explosive monsters. Use the arrow pad to assign blow dart to button, yes. Once the blow dart is assigned, press that button to enter it. Press B to fire, press A to exit. And it also forgot to mention, I believe, if I'm remembering, you control it with the C stick, or what I'm using. Yep, blow dart. First that, and I'll be assigning it to the R button. Or no. Okay, wait, nope. I need to switch that. Oh, wait, there's... Nope, that looks weird. Controls... Uh, screen, wrong button. Again, I'm sorry about this. Inverted, inverted horizontal, first person. Yeah, that works better. And fire at that. Bling, we hit it. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Throw it on there, and again, hit that. I feel like that's the only thing that was easier on PC version was the blow dark gun. I don't mind, I'm used to doing it on the console. Oh, it's Crab Hand. New monster, Crab Hands. They can be, ow. Allah! With that, they are dead. You want to use this and drop it right here. That opens this door. Oh, great, another Cyclops. You're annoying. Spawn. <laughs> There we go. I remember the trick to you. You have to let them spawn in behind you and get ready to fire their beam before attacking them. With that, that's one of the switches pulled to pull out the platform. These are burnable barricades. You will want to come back later when you have the right item. I'm not saying what the item is now, but what it is now we're about to find out so first yeah. you can activate that with a interestingly enough you can activate this by hitting it with your sword I'll pick you up and throw and bring you all the way back over here And boop. Oh, nope. Wrong button. And throw that on there. I keep forgetting the button I assigned this to. Boop. Like that. Now, there are multiple uses for the blow dart gun. You will get different dark types as the game goes on new enemy the knives cats a relative to the crab hands except unlike our uh, crab hands the knives cat actually can block you as well as jump over you however they weren't ready for me that time i am too good for them right now yeah very good day 
much better than what I was doing before, which I will not say because I'm annoyed still about that. Oh my god. It's a wasp spider! Drop. The combat in this game, yes, is easy, but when you're fighting multiple enemies at once, that can be annoying, or what I was doing. Thank you for the help. Give me more help. Thank you. Yay, the game gave me full health. How nice of them. Pull that. And we're about to face some... I remember what's about to happen. There's no point in returning to this side besides maybe for one crate. Yep, besides the one crate. There's nothing much to do over here again. Wrong button. Like so. Boop. La, la, la. Oops. I don't remember what happens if you drop if you throw it into the sort of down there into like oblivion or the like bottom of the tower. I'm going to save real quick, so if I die, I don't have to do all this over again. Okay, I think I missed something. Because I'm pretty sure that should be farther out than it is. Oh wait, I missed a freaking switch, didn't I? There's a switch in here. I'm dumb. I forgot the switch was there. There we go. Now it's fully extended. I am dumb. I forgot there was a switch in that room. Might as... Yeah, might as well save once more just because... The enemy that's going to be... We're going to have another new enemy. And it's one of my least favorite ones in the game. My least favorite one is not yet to come, though. This is Big Bull. It will swing its axe at you several times. And then... Do this. You want to get behind it. Its back is vulnerable. Ow. You lose one onk per swing. Uh, come on. Throw at me. One, two, one, two, three. Thank you. I don't like big bulls. They're no they're annoying because I get impatient. But anyway, I I literally say for no reason. I remember there's another save point in here. And there he is. We're supposed to go up here. Oh, you are Sphinx. How disappointing. I was expecting so much more. I know why you have come here. You wish to attempt that which many others before you have failed. If you wish to free the people of the Cursed Palace, you must prove to me that you are worthy. Your first test will be one of courage and faith. Come, Sphinx. Come closer to me. Do not be intimidated by this deadly chasm of lava. Aha, uh -huh, that was merely a party trick in comparison to the full power I possess. Your second test will be one of skill and technique. You must capture three art fire armadillos from the area you have just passed through. Take these capture beetles. They are the tool you will require. Use them wisely. Prove to me that you are worthy and I'll grant you the freedom of some of the cursed palace inhabitants. You got the beetle pouch. This pouch enables you to carry up to 20 capture beetles and can be used to capture many different types of monsters. To capture a monster, you must first attack it until it becomes vulnerable to capture. Which, when this is the case, it will flash yellow in color. 
Once this monster is vulnerable, release a capture beetle, guide the beetle into the monster using the C stick. Or whatever stick it is of the console you're using. When the beetle collides with the monster, it will be captured and added to your inventory. Uh, yes. However, fire armadillos and slim burbles are the only ones that you can, uh, use in other ways. Most monsters you can simply just capture once and then it's done. Now the fire armadillos are below us. I'm going to capture more than the three that he requires. So I can open sh Actually, no, I think I'll open those crates when I'm... I'll do that on my own. Oh my god, I forgot to assign the capture beetles. But at least... Hello, buddy. Boop! One. Boop! Oops. Uh, two. Boop! And three. I will be going for all of those uh, fire crates on my own time. But you can re... Actually, might as well do one. I'll capture a few extra. I think you can carry up... Oh, god damn it. I did not mean to do that on purpose. Uh, you ought to note there are also two types of capture beetles, or two types of armadillos in the game. There will be a stand in the museum for armadillos, and it will not say fire or fire armadillo, it'll just say armadillos. There's, uh, a second type, but you cannot reuse it like the, like this one. There we go. Five. I'm going to show what I mean. Where's one of the fire crates? They're up there. I forgot I destroyed the ones down here already. whoop a dee doo Tw About 20 minutes. Please, game, move faster. There you are. Thank you. Pew. And there's a good example. Now, as you can see, it's an item. Like so. And going to go through here again. I got four. He only takes three. And then we can go free the two inhabitants. I know I'm not going to spoil much. I'm going to try to avoid spoiling much. Oh, you have six, you succeeded. I expect you to fail like your friend Horus. It seems you are made of sterner stuff. Very well, these cursed stones will free two of the inhabitants of the cursed palace. Now you not only have the power to capture any enemy, you can also release fire armadillos and slim burbles, like I just showed. These creatures are very are powerful tools that will aid you in your quest. Use them wisely. I may call upon you again in the future, Sphinx. You got two cursed stones. Each magic stone has the power to lift a curse from one inhabitant in the cursed palace. Uh, one of them, I believe the red stone, if I'm remembering, is to the brother of the guy outside the cursed palace. Oh yeah, this is the next. So yeah, I'll free the two inhabitants and then I'll call it there for now. Might as well save. Ouch. Well, there it shows it. There's falling damage. Ouch. Can I uh, get up, please? Oh, my God. Yeah, these armadillos cannot fall off the edge for some reason, which is a little weird. This room is useless. It doesn't do anything anymore.
Well, yeah, I could have gone outside and got more fire armadillos. What am I doing? I believe I still have the one. And I'm going to use that last one for something. I'm going to do quite a bit off screen. Because I don't want to bore you guys to death. Sphinx, I hear you have convinced Anubis to free some of the people at the Cursed Palace. I hate to admit it, but I was wrong about you. I admit your bravery and compassion for those poor people. You have proven yourself my equal, and demonstration of my goodwill decided to give you a present. This is no ordinary gift. It is dark stone of visibility. It grants the power of invisibility to any person that uses it. I am sure it will be very useful in your future quest. I hope you can forgive my arrogance towards you in the past. I apologize, Sphinx. Don't use it, it's a trap. That really is the dark stone of visibility, but the power of invisibility has a nasty side effect. It causes instant death. Of course, Tinti Common would be able to use it without danger to himself, because the fact he's already dead. Keep the stone for now. We will send it to our friend, the mummy, when we get the opportunity. I'm afraid you must not trust for... Or is any further jealousy of your achievements has clearly affected his judgment. Who knows his true motives? Perhaps his survival in Uruk was not simply a matter of good fortune. Uh, at this point, it's a yeah, duh. So basically, yeah, you just got an item for z for the mummy now. Now the next thing to do, because I said I would, uh, B, I want to show quick, this is what diving underwater looks like. It's much faster than swimming above water. Surprisingly. It's kind of funny looking though. Wow, surprisingly faster. But yeah, now to go help his brother. And whoever the other guy is. I forget who the other stone is. Two. I believe this side is red. Yep, here he is. I thought so. This is the farmer's brother. Ugh, mm. huh? What is going on here? Where am I? Wait a minute, this is the Ferris Palace. How in the world did I get in? Get here? Of course, I was called to work on the palace gardens. I don't recognize any of the other people, though. I thought the pharaoh had banned all visitors. I wonder how he will feel when he sees all the these stone people everywhere. Anyway, I should get back to the farm and find my brother. He must be worried about me. Thanks for freeing me, my friend. You should come by the farm. It is just up the hill outside here. Come and see us and we'll help you if we can. They are very useful indeed. You can tell them to plant things and once they're done planting, you will get an item out of it. Something useful. It's random what it is, though. So I can't tell you exactly what it is you'll get. Not even I remember what it is. I'm going to lift both curses. Oh, yes. Oh, I think I remember this guy. I think he gives you the Book of the Dead, I think. I think. I could be wrong. Yeah, this is definitely the guy. What the? What is this strange place? Wow, you surprised me there, stranger. I was summoned from Abydos to write the uh, Pharaoh's autobiography when I started to feel ever so sleepy. Next thing I know, here I am with you. These strange events have given me a great idea for a gripping new book. I'm going back to Abydos immediately to start work on it. Thank you for your help, stranger. Take this book of mine as a gift. When you're, when you're in Abydos, don't hesitate to drop by for a chat. Toodle pee. <laughs> yep. You got the Book of the Dead. With this ancient tome, you can summon Basquette to transport canopic vases to the mummy. 
Yep, we got two useful items. And now to go back outside. Grab the beetles. Capture beetles. Ooh, I got a lot of scarabs. How many... I don't remember how what my scarab limit is. There are big gold scarabs that are like... Like, giant scarabs that are worth like 100. And I believe that's what's on the side of the palace. I can get it now that I have the double jump. Um, but there's several of those. I might save that for later because that may come in handy for later. There you are! Thank you so much! I can't really thank you enough for freeing my brother. I was getting desperate. I thought I was never going to see him again. But thanks to you, we're reunited. My brother and I would love to get back to farm, but not with... While well, those deadly Eye of Ra are out there. It looks like our misfortune is, st is set to stay with us. Yep, I'm going to now quickly save. And then... Next time on let's on Schmidler plays Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy, we will be dealing with all those Eye of Raw posts, and I'll be using that last uh, armadillo to do something. You will see; it has something to do with that boulder on that hill. But anyway, if you enjoyed the video, why you like, comment, and subscribe? But anyway, I am Schmidler, and I'll be seeing you in the next video. Bye.